On Friday, 20th of January, new U.S. President Donald Trump delivered his vision of the future for Americans, and he hopes for the peoples of the world. From this day forward, it's going to be only America first. America first. But Mr. President, America is already first. American corporations remain in global first place, both in foreign direct investments and in profits being sent back to U.S. investors. It is called imperialism. In the global protectionism race, in other words, erecting tariffs barriers to help your own national industries and to hold back foreign competition, first prize also goes to America and its government. As for millionaires, America is first here as well. It now has 4,458,000. Trump's won. Most of his friends are. And so is Hillary Clinton. America is still first in global arms sales, including of Trident. And a related first, the United States today has more than 800 overseas military bases in other countries. When U.S. military forces were fighting in past wars, Korea, Vietnam, Iraq, Afghanistan and so on, U.S. presidents, both Democrats and Republicans, always said they were there because America must be top dog, that is, first. America is today first in the world for per capita consumption of energy. No surprise then that America is also first for per capita emission of greenhouse gases. America is in first place in the export of its own world view to the rest of the world. Ever heard of Hollywood or Facebook, Mr. Trump? America is first for national chauvinism, first for unfounded self-pity, first for endangering the rest of the planet. Americans, will you be the first to say to Trump, no more America first? Clinton never did. And we know Theresa May won't be doing so either.